Geneticists at the University of California, Riverside, along with scientists at UC Davis and the International Rice Research Institute, have developed flood-tolerant California rice. The submergence-tolerant property can be developed into any variety of rice to enable the crop to survive extreme flood conditions, which can offer relief to poor rice farmers worldwide. For a very long time, rice farmers have been interested in protecting their plants from complete submergence. A lot of the rice lands in the world are um, susceptible to submergence because of strong rains due to monsoons. Um, the rice is grown in flood-prone regions in about 20% of the rice growing areas in the world. And so having this ability to grow a line that's submergence tolerant would enable rice farmers to um, ensure that they will have a yield from their crop. Throughout the world, over 20% of rice growing lands endures a flood that completely submerges the plants every year. A conservative estimate of the crop damage that's done internationally is $1 billion per year, and that's U.S. dollars. This unfortunately affects the poorest of farmers as well, and so the impact on poor farmers when they are supplied lines that are submergence tolerant could be tremendous. The UC Riverside Lab collaborated with that of Pamela Ronald at UC Davis. Their work was instrumental in identifying the gene region that contains the genes that confer submergence tolerance. And along with this study, uh, my lab here at UC Riverside characterized the physiological and the developmental differences between submergence tolerant and submergence intolerant rice. Bailey Saras and her colleagues plan to work on developing crops that are resistant to multiple stresses, including a salinity tolerant trait, since many flood prone areas are a mixture of fresh and salt water. For Science Today, I'm Larissa Brannan.